What's up everyone, to 5 dude back on your screen. Now in this video we'll be taking a look at when men stop simping for women part 198. So starting off today we have a guy who thought he was helping a girl in distress at night but then this happened. <laughs> Moving on, we have a woman who thought she had found her biological father after 25 years, only to find out he's not actually her father. You've been told for over 25 years that Otis Hawkins, the man you believe to be your father, was dead. Yes, ma'am. But he's alive. <laughs> and we found him for you. Jerome, please escort. Oh my Mr. Hawkins God. into the courtroom. Oh, whoa. Whoa. You need to sit down. You okay? Let me go up to the witness stand. There. Oh my God, Laconda, there's your dad. There's your dad. Pertaining to whether Mr. Hawkins is the father of Ms. Casey. Mr. Hawkins. You are not <laughs> her father. <laughs> do you know who her father is? Yeah, I do. And it's his brother. <laughs> Next up, we have a man who taught his wife a lesson while she was too focused on her phone. I'm just being honest because I don't even know why. <sighs> I'm just tired. I don't know what to do next. I mean, I have options. I'm safe. I'm fine. This isn't a pity thing. I promise I don't need to be rescued. <laughs> You know, my family is close and they're here. I just hide no more. As I turned 34. 
I don't know. You are my husband. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm not. If we were to ever get divorced, I'm not about to be out here with nothing. We gotta make sure we good. This don't got nothing to do with you sitting taking money off us. That I work hard for. Do you not work for us? Are we not a family? You want? Don't this is working for you. This ain't working for us. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm a woman. If I, if you were to leave me, I need to be okay. What is the problem? You need to be a problem. Okay. You're a stuff. No, what's wrong with me? Listen, check this out. At the end of the day, you can account for that. I don't know what I have to make sure I'm good. I can't. I can't. I'm not about to argue with you about money. You are selfish. No, I'm tongue. not. No, I'm not. Everything I've done for us. Are you serious? You mad because I'm putting everything you've done for who? Everything you've done for me. I'm the one working. I'm the one putting in the time. You cannot be for real right now, Keith. Everything I do for us, and you're mad that I put a little money to the side for me course he's going to be mad what do you expect you literally stole twenty two thousand dollars from the man you claim to love everything you do for yes. us everything you do yes. for me statement i'm gonna tell you man what are you gonna do about it what am i gonna do about it what are you gonna do about it do about I'm not, i don't care about this right now I'm so you know what serious. i need to do with you you know what i need to do with you i need to account and stop sharing that because that's the reason that's that's how you able to go in my Find my words and take the money. Do what you gotta do. I, I don't care about it. I'm, I'm so serious. I'm not about to argue with you about no money. I'm about not about no it. money. No, I'm not arguing. It's just money about no to money. you, right? Twenty-two thousand dollars is just a little bit of money to you, huh? So let me ask you a question. If I took twenty-two thousand dollars from you, that'd be okay? You my husband. Do what you need to do. But no, you wouldn't be taking. Of course, you're saying that when you're not the person working 10, 12 hours at a time. Of course, you're not gonna say that. Moving on, we have a guy who got revenge on his wife after she kicked him out of their trailer. This is probably the best way to prevent your woman from cheating on you. Just found out that my girlfriend of four long years has been cheating on me for a month behind my back. And I'm totally lost right now. I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, I don't know how to move on. I gave this girl 100% of my energy 24 seven for the last four years and I don't know what to do at this point. She was my rock, we talked about everything. He honestly just has to focus on himself. I know four years is a long time and it might be hard to get over her, but trust me, you're better off without her. Craziest high school confession. One of my teachers. She belongs to the streets. How many? Just one? Just one. Was it good? It's so good. Did you do it just once or twice? Hit it and forget it, you heard? Is it just me or am I the only one who thinks she overreacted? She could have simply just said no instead of embarrassing him like that. New phenomenon that's taking the dating world by storm, this thing called Passport Bros. And apparently these guys on TikTok are bragging about how they're going to other countries, they're finding more traditional women that can cook and clean and act like housewives. And the woke people are getting mad. The Western women are getting mad because our men are going across overseas to find um, more traditional women. A group of men that get passports and go to another country to find women. Because in America, women hate all men and men all cheat, blah, blah, this, that, and a third. And then the, the women are mad, the same women who hate men and our feminists are mad that the men went to where they're respected. Men go where they're respected. Hey, excuse me. I hope you know CPR. You're taking my breath away. <laughs> I cheated. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Many times. I, All the time. I have. Yes. Why? Because we're bad and we need to show the world that we're bad. 
women can't pay for their children, they can get government assistance. But when men can't pay for it, we go to jail. all right this was it for today's video guys if you enjoyed today's video then make sure you smash that like button and yeah i will see you guys in the next one until then i'm out peace